Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado, and we appreciate you tuning in this morning. So behind me is a 2022 Cimarron Showstar. Uh, this is a custom-built trailer. This is a, a customer's trailer that they had built. But we like showing you these so you can see some different options, give you some ideas, talk about kind of the functionality of this trailer and why they set it up this certain way. Now that's the cool thing about a Cimarron is I always like to use an example of it. It is a fingerprint, every one of these trailers. They're all a little bit different. You can build them how you want it. Uh, the only time I've ever heard Cimarron say no is if we're dealing with some structural issues that it just doesn't make sense. But other than that, we can usually figure it out and make it happen for you. So again, this is a really cool setup. We're gonna walk you through it. Before we do that, let's take a look at the drawing on this trailer, because this is a really good snapshot. As we're in the build process and we're, we're quoting out a trailer, this is what we can provide to you. So it's not just an above rough drawing. I mean, this is a very detailed above and each side of the trailer drawing so we can see what we're looking at. So this trailer is 27 and a half foot on the floor. It is eight foot wide. It is six four tall. We have a six foot front dressing room on it. And then from the back, we've got a, a pin system. It's almost like a nine pin system that I'll show you. Uh, and I know that sounds a little bit odd, but there's dual purpose to this trailer. It's to haul small animals and then also some calves on this trailer. So they set it up specifically for this. They are a, re a repeat Cimarron buyer. So they've had a Cimarron before. They just needed to upgrade, get into some, a larger size trailer. So they opted to build something. And again, it, this is the end result. So and in the build process, we kind of bounce ideas back and forth. Uh, that's where we come up with maybe some new concepts, some new ideas. It's great getting customer feedback too, just because that's where some of these new ideas and concepts come from, and then we can evolve from there. So first and foremost, let's just look at this. Very first thing is they opted, instead of doing the, the polished stainless sheet on the nose, they did the color match. So you'll notice that that's black because of the black skin sheeting on the side and on the ramps that we'll show you but they went with the black up here rather than the stainless. Kind of a personal preference. Again, it's your trailer, let's build it how you want. Underneath the gooseneck, we did a couple things. They upgraded to the electric over hydraulic brake, uh, uh, jack, excuse me. Um, the reason why is this thing is fantastic. We understand that you're gonna put a lot of equipment on this and maybe you have some equipment that you're gonna leave on this trailer at all times uh, and then you've got some equipment in the barn. So. By pushing this button up and down, boy, it's really handy rather than hand cranking a trailer this size, especially if it's loaded. It does have a manual override. That's the system that uh, Cimarron uses through Equalizer. I really like that because then we do have a manual override in emergency type situations on that. Battery box. So we have the battery for the disc, it, uh, for the, the jack itself, and then it's standard on the 22 models is a battery disconnect. So we can turn this trailer on and off I mean, we can kill all power to it so we don't have a, you know, battery going, going low. Uh, if we accidentally leave a light on or something along those lines, um, we can reach up and turn that off when we park this trailer. This is also a newer box at Cimarron's building. So this is actually built at the factory and then they're putting their own latch on the trailer itself. So now in the past, we've had a different key for this box and then the rest of the trailer. Well, now we have the same key the actual tumbler that matches everything on the trailer. So that's a nice little upgrade there. Then we've got these two pieces that come off the trailer here. This is to set a portable generator on. So they can put a generator on. Um, I'll show you underneath here, and then I'll show you when we get into the tack room, but there's a plug just to the right of that battery box up underneath there that we can plug into the 30 amp service to run power in this trailer. So again, with the generator right there, then we can run that cord up to it. Uh, it's really in a you know, easy and uh, good location as far as that's concerned. And those generator brackets are fantastic because instead of you know, maybe it taking up some floor space in your tack room or putting it in the back of your truck and having to move it, now you've got it located right there and you just strap it down. There's a look at that black sheeting that I was telling you about. And then we have the side ramp going into the front tack room. This has become extremely popular over the last couple of years uh, because we understand 
when you're dealing with big show boxes, uh, fan carts, blower carts, generators, those type of items, it's a lot easier coming up a ramp rather than lifting it up and over. It's usually then a two person job where, you know, it, this still could be a two person job on maybe a big box, just somebody kind of guiding from the back, but your smaller items, you can run right up here. But these bigger tack rooms <clears throat> have become real popular. We're noticing we're doing more six, seven, eight foot tack rooms on these show trailers rather than the four foot that we started with. You have to have five foot <clears throat> to do a side ramp on it which this one is a six foot. But as you can see, we've got some items in here from the standpoint of we've got a carpeted deck. Uh, just, you know, this is marine grade as well, but it just is nice so it's not gonna scuff anything up. Over to the right is a plexiglass tray. I'll show you the plexiglass inserts on the stock sides, but there's a place for that to store. On the drop wall, we've got a 12 inch boot box. These are really good for smaller miscellaneous items. Uh, from floating around, but also it works as a step when you go to hop in there. And also, we understand, you know, a lot of these shows are show off the trailer, so at least you have a little bench to sit on if you want. There is our 30 amp breaker. So again, we're running power into this trailer. That's where that plug goes into uh, from the generator or another power source, and it comes into the trailer. They opted for this shelf and these the, with the clothes bar underneath it all the way across on this this uh, wall on driver's side here so you can hang some clothes to go to show this is a great area there's a lip on here so things won't slide off of but a nice deep that's 18 inch deep uh, shelf in here uh, we can do a lot of this customization we can add other stuff to trailers after the fact some different shelves as well some nice big utility hooks so we used to do the old bridle hook styles. So they were short, they weren't as tall, they were really close and narrow together, uh, but Cimarron's designed these. This is aluminum powder coat uh, piece here, and again, they call it a utility hook. We've spread them out a little bit more, we've make, made them deeper off the trailer and taller because hoses, big cords, those type items now can set on one hook rather than taking up three or four, and usually stuff's trying to fall off of there as well. So again, we can incorporate these throughout the trailer. And then is a pass-through door that goes into the stall area. So maybe again, you're showing off the trailer, you're prepping some feed, you can kind of go back and forth. Uh, the other thing too is when we're dealing with a front dressing room like this, and we have a side ramp, I will build you a trailer with another access point out of it. Because if this ramp gets shut and someone is in this tack room, and there's not another door out of this, you can't get out of this trailer. So I'm good with a pass-through door on the partition wall or another door on the opposite side on the driver's side, but I'd like another access point out of this trailer just for safety purposes. And again, this works out great because you can step into the stall area and get out of this tack room if need be. But these ramps are also extremely easy to lift and shut. Um, they've got, Cimarron uses really good springs to where as it actually goes, I can let it go and it actually sucks into the trailer itself. Then you've got your latches that go across it, securing it, and again, you can lock it. So I can lock these up. Again, that battery box, the pass-through door, the rear doors, the side ramp. I mean, we can, we can lock this trailer up. Now, let's look at this, because now as we step to the stall area, you're going to notice another side ramp. These, this has kind of been the way that these trailers have gone. Now, you know, a lot of our, our uh, smaller animal trailers will have this as well, and the 10 pin LXs, that's the most popular. And then we've got our rear load as well. But this is kind of a dual purpose, which is great because now it can function, whether you're hauling calves, hauling small animals, showing off this trailer. If you get in a situation where you have to work off the back, you can. If you have to work off the side, you can, or both of them. But when we're dealing with these bigger openings like this on the side ramp, we like this extra gate going across there because now if we put it down, we're showing off of it, we can actually create a little bit more airflow through here and then it's again keeping the animals in here. So let's look at this first stall and then we'll kind of work back out and then we'll come back into the stall area. But I wanted to show you what they, again, this is what the customer wanted. They wanted a pin system, but also a traveling gate. So the fantastic thing about pin systems are we can completely remove pins out of this 
but I said in the beginning a nine pin because in the back here, I've got this slider open. We have eight pins back here and then we've got this larger kind of box stall in this front compartment. So again, kind of a nine pin when you incorporate this. So this actually shoves against this back piece here, this section. But if I wanted to, we could remove this section of pins and I can roll this gate back even a little bit farther, lock it into some different places as well. But again, you know, this is also fantastic for, again, if you're showing off of this, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you're pulling some animals up here, you put them in this area, your tacks right here, where maybe some of your show supplies are, you're getting that animal prepped off the side ramp you go and then head to the ring. But this has some versatility. Again, they want to haul some calves, they want to haul some small animals. I'll show you when we get to the back that I can come in and I can roll this gate forward and push it up against the partition wall here, but also because of this slider being on the right hand side, it matches up with the pass through door going into the tack area so we can work through this trailer itself. We've got some load lights on here as well, located between the tack room and this front stall area, and then one kind of right above kind of the wheel well there, area kind of centered. Uh, but now we have a lot of light coverage out here. Maybe you're tying out at night, maybe you're showing off the trailer again, having the light coverage, you've got it there. So normally on, on this setup, you're gonna have two air gaps up high and one low with plexiglass, but they upgraded these fold down aluminum slats. We do this on all of our inventory trailers in these type of setups. And the reason why is it's just the functionality is, it's so easy to just open and close these. I don't have a piece of uh, plexiglass now I have to deal with. You can literally jump out of the truck, run around, shut these or open them very easily. And again, not have to deal with that plexiglass. The other thing is, is we get a bigger gap here. But because of the extrusions, when you have this third lower gap, it's a little bit narrower, so not as much airflow. So now we can maximize some airflow. They put this tie, you know, this actual tie rail in the middle there, you know, protecting it, making sure animals can't get in and out of that type of situation, sticking a head out or sticking a foot out, anything like that. Exterior tie rails high and low. So if you want to tie off of this trailer at night or just even tie up a calf, something along the lines, you can do that. Two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles. They upgraded to 14 ply tires. Anytime I'm working with a customer on building a trailer, that's one of the very first things we look at is, do we feel like we wanna go with bigger tires? We did a bigger tack room on this. We went eight foot wide. Absolutely, let's just go ahead and do some 14 plies, get you a little bit heavier duty tire and then running gear underneath this trailer. Aluminum wheels are standard. These are 16 inches. Uh, there's the silver, there's black, we can go Alcoa, we can do some different options there as well. You have nitrogen filled tires on this trailer, that is standard on all Cimarron's. They're, they're balanced and they're nitrogen filled. So we're not having PSI fl uh, levels fluctuate drastically when we're dealing with nitrogen filled tires. They use them on airplanes. Think about the temperature differences and altitude differences and what they're having to deal with. So this will help us from the standpoint of not having uh, again, these uh, cold mornings here in Colorado it can get really hot uh, during, the, during the day. So <clears throat> what we want to do is we want to keep PSI levels at a certain level because that's what will cause blowouts. Get too high, get too low. Nitrogen only allows it to change about a pound or two. If for some reason you have a, maybe you caught a nail where we have a, a slow leak, if you need to put air to it, you can, but you do have one year no questions asked warranty on these tires with two years of roadside assistance so really you know standing behind the product as far as that's concerned also you have a bolt-on fender that Cimarron does so if for some reason we tear up a fender we're not have to cut off a welded fender and re-weld another one on so this will help save some cost as far as labor is concerned when swapping these type of items in and out you'll notice the button lights those are standard now in the 22 models and on the top rail. They're small, they put out a lot of light though. They're LED, not a big power draw. They opted for some extras. They did seven per side on this trailer. 
just dresses it up a little bit more. And then on behind the axles there, you'll notice these two feet that stick off of there. Those are brackets for a grooming chute. So you can set a grooming chute on there and tip it up and then strap it down using your tie rail there. But now we understand you're dragging a lot of equipment. If you need to put something on there, you can, and then be able to secure it. Now, as we get to the back, again, this is an eight foot wide trailer. So again, it creates a lot of, uh, you know, just load space in general. Your wheel wells are gonna be on the inside of the trailer. They went with the 50-50 rear doors because it's a Showstar model. Now, if it was a Lone Star model, which is more of their stock trailer, you know, you'd have the option of a gate itself or dual 50-50 gates, where this one is dual 50-50 doors. So it's a lot more, you know, tight seal as far as that's concerned by having the doors. You've got your windows in each door, create some airflow, kind of air out the trailer as well. And then a full width rear ramp that goes over the rear doors. So you can shut those doors and then put the ramp up. They're independent, so you can open one ahead of the other if you'd like. <clears throat> More load lights. You have two eight inchers at the back here. Everything's on an individual switch. So I can turn the back lights on, I can turn each side on or the stall area or all of them at once, but they are individual. Now, as we come in, like I mentioned, it's an eight pin setup here at the back. So as we walk into the trailer, you've got these eight pins, these are adjustable. So we can go from 50, 50, 60, 40 type setups. So right now these back three sections are set at a 60, 40, but it's real easy for us to, to move these over to a 50, 50 setup. So the 60, 40 is great as the animals get bigger, you need an alleyway type scenario, but all you have to do is get this gate that runs the length of the trailer broke loose and with one hand, it's that simple to flip these from a 60, 40, 50, 50, vice versa, you can flip them around. And again, I can remove all these if I'd like to. Uh, it's about a five minute job for one person to take all these gates out. It's about 10 minutes, just making sure everything's lined up when you go to put it back. One of the tricks and handiest things you can do is, is start at the front, before you'd ever remove these out of here and maybe take a, a marker or something, but label that post one, two, three, four, and five. That way you know what order they go back into. Sometimes it, it can be figured out based on the way this trailer is set up on, on the gate system itself, but it's a lot easier to just look at it and just put it right back in there. A couple more things in this stall area that they did. They added an air conditioner, a roof mount air conditioner. We do have the 30 amp power supply when you have your portable generator or another power supply, but we can literally plug it in up front and come back here and turn this guy on. Now, we have an insulated roof that's standard on every single Cimarron. That is not an upgrade. That is standard on everything. So the reason why that's so important is, is we have an air conditioner, but we need to insulate this staller in order for this to be more efficient. So with that being standard on every trailer, it keeps a stall area about 20% cooler than an aluminum sheeted roof. That makes a massive difference on real hot days. You literally feel the difference when you come to the lot or you see us at a show, we'll be sitting in the trailer because it's cooler in there than it is underneath our easy up tent outside because of that insulated roof. So now animals can be more comfortable. This air conditioner can be more efficient. We do have two way roof vents so we can manipulate airflow. We've got our lower air gaps. We've got our upper air gaps with plexiglass. We can really change airflow in the way that we keep these animals comfortable in this trailer. And then also if you're showing off of it, keeping it more comfortable as well in here. One of the other things that they did is because we have this traveling gate rail is they went in and they got a fan bracket. Now they can add more to it as well. About a 12 inch barn fan works really well because it doesn't hang down extremely low when you're dealing with like your 24 inch fans. It keeps it up a little bit higher, but now I can slide this and then adjust it and lock it into place where I want. And then we've got outlets in this top rail to run those fans. Again, we've got the 30 amp package. We have power back here to this stall area. 
So I've done multiple things back here. One of the other things that I want to show you is this traveling gate. So there's kind of some, some steps to this, but it is pretty easy to do. I'm just going to kind of step in front of the gate because of the, the gates that are in front of the side ramp and then the escape door that we'll show you when you get to driver's side, is you have to swing those gates out of the way of the openings to run this traveling gate forward. But we do have the ability to run it up. and lock it into the partition wall. So now, maybe we're not hauling a calf or maybe we need a little bit more room. You know, we could remove this section right here, which is basically a post and a gate. And then we have a larger stall right here. Now, with that being said, um, if down the road they ever wanted to go in and make, you know, another set of gates across here. That's something they could contact Cimarron. They'll build the gates. They know what trailer they're looking at. Build the gates, send them up to them with all the hardware, and then you could get those installed. So you can do a lot, of, lot to these trailers after the fact as well. You know, on these, as you notice, it's just the aluminum floor. Um, this is a really good area to look at. And the reason why is you can kind of just barely see some lines right here in between because what that is, is it's a 12 inch deck. So an ex it's an extruded piece of aluminum, 12 inches wide. This deck then starts piecing together. Uh, underneath there are four inch centers. So you have the best floor in the industry on these Cimarron. They are stout. That is how well they're built. Now, in these pin systems, I'm not as much of a fan of rubber mats, just because we have to cut around every post. When you pull them out, put them back in, it's like a puzzle. Obviously hogs can get underneath them and root them up a little bit. So on these type of trailers, you'll no normally see either no mats or we do worm flooring. And worm flooring is a permanent unpenetrable rubber matting. So we don't have to pull it out and it's just in there and it's permanent and it goes around the post. So there are options if this customer down the road wanted to add worm flooring, that could be done as well. It's always cheaper to have it done when the trailer's brand new and that floor is brand new. Uh, if it's used, there might be some prep work that has to go into play. It's going to cost you a little bit more. But if you wanted to do it on a build trailer, we can do it. Or you can do it down the road if you'd like as well. On Cimarron's, you have an eight-year structure warranty, three-year hardware warranty. So three years, bumper to hitch. Again, you've got the tire warranty on it. That's through the vendor that Cimarron uses, not directly through Cimarron. But again, one year, no questions asked warranty on the tires and then two years of roadside assistance. Back behind the axles over here again, we've got another set of brackets for a chute. You've got your tie rails high and low. There's a good look at that air gap down low on these gas shocks that fold down again, big, big air gap there. More load lights, again, about center of the wheel well and then above this door right here. And again, that escape door, when I step forward and open up that gate, there's that gate. So again, we can have that open and you can create a cross breeze through these trailers. Even in the escape door, you have the ability to remove plexiglass and then also have a fold down air slot there. A lot of manufacturers will, you know, give you the ability of this is solid you know that that front stall can't quite get the air that everyone everything else can because they don't want to do these type of items like this but again real simple real easy to just walk by open and close these really quickly getting a lot of airflow through them again cool mornings maybe you don't want as much airflow down there to them but as it, the day gets hotter you can just run by and get that opened up there again is that black sheeting that we were talking about this is a mill finish trailer, so you'll just notice that the extrusion, the aluminum extrusion, is just kind of more of your plain aluminum as far as just brightness goes. Uh, that's what mill finish is. If you wanted to go polish, it could be done, and then it's fully polished. It's really shiny and bright. It's almost like a mirror. 
On this type of a trailer here, you could easily acid wash it. You could citrus wash it as well. Uh, on polished trailers, you do not acid wash them. You only citrus wash them. But again, this is a sold trailer, but I want to give you the stock number on it because if you're interested in some, maybe say, hey, I want that exact same trailer or I want that trailer, but these are the changes I want to make. You can reference it. It is 5N220022. A lot of two twos in this one. It is a 2022 Cimarron Showstar. Again, pin system with a traveling gate and a lot of extras on it. So it's a fun process to build trailers with customers. Uh, it is the most enjoyable thing to just sit down, draw it out, get the ideas from each other, figure out how you want to use the trailer. Let us help you get something like this that's going to function for you. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.